So today we're discussing a really fun topic that I get asked about all the time. I cannot tell you how many clients I've had I would classify as serious drinkers, which means they just like to imbibe a little bit and have some fun on the weekends with their friends. The only problem with drinking is that it can seriously impede your goals to lose weight, lose body fat, and get into better shape. So I decided to put together a little blog post, which I've also attached to this video that you can read through called the best and the worst alcohol for weight loss. So there's some basic rules of thumb here that you can go by if you're looking at drinking in a more conscientious way so that you can lose weight and lose body fat and minimize the amount of sugary or carby calories that you're taking in while drinking. So let's start by bringing you down a little bit by bashing the drinks that have probably been inhibiting your weight loss. The first that I hate to admit is the worst for losing weight are margaritas. I know that's super sad. Most people love tequila, most people love margaritas, and the reality is there's just a ton of sugar in margaritas with all that mixer that they put into it. So not your best call when it comes to weight loss. Other things that you can put up there with margaritas are things like white Russians, which use you know heavy cream in them, uh, mudslides, bushwhackers, anything that's in a shake, smoothie, or milkshake form. Think about Fat Tuesdays. Those have a ton of sugar in those giant economy-sized blender machines, so those aren't gonna be great for weight loss either. Gin and tonics or anything that uses tonic water. Tonic water actually has a ton of sugar, almost on par with most sodas out there, so that's a rough one in case you're a G&T fan. Daiquiris are another sneaky one that have a ton of sugar in it. Also, anything that's mixed with an energy drink, so like vodka, Red Bull, that's a huge no-no. There's a lot of high calorie and full calorie beers out there. And while there are benefits to drinking beer because they will fill you up faster, so it'll keep you from drinking more, there's also a ton of sugars and a ton of carbs in most beers. And then lastly, which are more in the bottom rungs, of the bad for weight loss group are gonna be your sweet red wines and your sweet white wines. So the good news is I'm not gonna leave you hanging out to dry here and say, okay, you can't drink these 12, 13, or 14 things, and you might as well quit drinking forever if you're trying to lose weight. You wanna make sure that you enjoy yourself sometimes. You just wanna make sure that you're enjoying the right drinks and so that you're doing it smart and responsibly. So better alcohol ideas for weight loss, we'll go ahead and bring tequila back in the picture first. So you can make your own margaritas, they're just gonna be a little different from using the sugary mixers that you're used to. You can add as many parts tequila as you like, of course, once again, drink responsibly. And what I'll do is I'll either use a non-calorie soda water or a flavored soda water. I'll get like a lime flavored or a key lime flavored soda water and add that to my tequila so that's zero calories added. And then I'll also add some either lime juice or like fresh squeezed limes to make what some people have been calling a NorCal margarita or a low calorie margarita. Another great substitute for if you're used to having bourbon and soda or jack and soda is just start drinking whiskey or bourbon on the rocks. Far less calories and none of the sugars that you would be having with normal soda. Or if you don't wanna to commit to that, you can always drink diet soda with your bourbon or your whiskey. At least you'll cut some calories and cut out sugars that way. Also, if you're a wine drinker, see if you can stay away from whites and stick to the drier red wines. So as far as red wine goes, you want to stick to things like Chianti's, French Malbec's, some Bordeaux's which are really dry, Cabernet Sauvignon's are really good for the dry varieties. I know that those can get sweeter sometimes too. And then French Merlot's and French Syrah's which can tend to be a little bit uh, more sugary. But at least then you have a list of red wines that you can go from just depending on your palate and your own personal taste. So the last recommendation that I could make to you is that if you know you are going to drink heavily on a particular evening of the week, I would say make sure that you work out several hours before that because what you're going to be doing by performing, let's say, a resistance training workout, um, I always like to do my leg days on the days that I know that I'm going to be having a couple of drinks just because that's going to allow your body to shuttle those bad calories to your big primary muscle groups and away from your stomach and your hips and your butt and the places that you don't want those calories to go. And if you are going to opt for a workout on the day that you do drink, always make sure that you give yourself plenty enough time to eat and hydrate before you go out drinking. Or you could get sick and things could get really bad really quickly. 
Otherwise, now you have a good list of some of the worst alcohol and the best alcohol for weight loss. Drink responsibly, and I'll see you soon.